Hello, hello, good morning, good night to all the people around the world. I wanted to show you what I have done last night. This is my little DIY fertilizer for my plants. Now I have created a puck seal, which is fish. I use a snapper for, for my dinner. Um, I have also, with that, um, I have leftover onion peels as well as the garlic. There we go. And I had some, I had one orange, so I keep the peel as well and soak it. So this will allow her to give the plants a nice fertilization and nutrients. And it looks absolutely wonderful. As you can see, the coloring of the water has turned into lovely amber, orangey amber color. Um, from a clear water, the normal tap water that you would have. And then, uh, yeah, so this is what I do. I do this at least once in uh, maybe a couple of weeks, depends on maybe once a month in the plant. So I'm gonna do that today because it's time to water my beautiful plants. Um, this is one that I have soaked for a week now. It is a little bit long, but that's okay. It'll be fine. So this is banana, there's banana inside. There's also mandarin peel and some onion peel. So I mixed it up. And this was the other one that I have, which is I dried the banana peel and then I pop it in there and then I just put on top of the onion that I got when I do make my dinner. So that is, I keep them. I don't actually throw them out. Um, it helps my plants, uh, fertilize my plants and keep the bug away as well because it's quite smelly with a strong acidic um smell of the onion and the garlic now the other thing that I also keep is my eggshells like we all do I use this one for to mix on my soil so I'm going to use that today as well when I do my my plants I also keep my lovely um, uh, some of my pepper that I have used for my cooking last night and once I decided which one I'm going to use to which one which plants, which I'm thinking of the staghorn fern and the orchids. So this particular banana, I am going to use this one as a one of the medium that I have for my staghorn fern and my orchid. Um, I do have some other stuff that I want to use it with, so I'm going to mix it. I've got sphagnum moss and this for my staghorn fern and as well as orchids so this um, banana I won't use the onion or the oranges just the banana peels so let me show you my lovely staghorn fern that I have had for a couple of weeks maybe a month I can't really remember exactly now but they're starting to grow new leaves new um, cover I have them given to me but it was and it needed some rescuing so now they're ready to be planted so let's go and check that out okay guys this is my lovely staghorn fern i have had acquired this one from somebody who has had plenty and did not want to um you know keep it anymore or had no time to uh, stuck it up so i have placed this one in here they were all um brownish color so they've have turned the top layer in green so and so i can see that they're growing beautifully the leaves were really down before but now they're growing nicely i have soaked them in here for a couple of weeks or so and so the actual um bottom bit in here where i'm going to put the sphagnum moss as well as the banana peels to give nutrients to the roots once it goes through is uh, quite moist so i can see that they will be fine when i transplant it into another medium so i have to look for something else um, as you can see they're growing the lovely uh, top layer as well as a new leaf and this one as well is doing nicely so this is my three that i wanted to plant separately so I can hang it on the wall um, it does love the bathroom because of the moisture and not very sunny so I'm not sure I have to find a place in the house where it's not too uh, not too hot not too um, sunny area because it likes to have the dark dark um, area so okay let's check out my other one which is around here this is quite a big one there's actually three in one so you can see there's a huge, um, huge amount of leaves and the clumping of their 
uh, roots. So this is lovely because it's nicely established. Um, there are already there are actually three in one, so I'm not going to separate this. I'm going to keep it as it is. I do have a huge bark or a huge wood or log that I have a dig from the garden a while ago, and I'm going to keep that in there. So again, I'm going to put some banana and some sphagnum moss as the medium, and then maybe a little bit of soil, just or bark because that's what they normally do, um, climb on a tree with just growing on bark. Now look at this one, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that lovely um, roots that they've grown. Well this is apparently, I guess that's their roots because that's what they do. Um, that's how they attach into a tree in the rainforest. So I'm going to mimic that idea by putting it exactly as I hope that they will love it and grow. So I'll just go quickly and show you my log that I will attach this baby and hopefully it will be successful and grow more beautiful young leaves for me. And this one I will have to find some uh, some wood somehow, a flat wood or I'll have to find another medium to uh, get this one climbing up so it's ready to go i just need to have the time to do it so let's go and check out my uh, fern uh, my other my other um, plant which is the orchid that i'm going to also play somewhere and and use my water to water it and as well as the log that i'm going to attach the big stagon fern now the other thing i could be using is a big rock to get my staghorn fern climb or attached to so I put this away just another idea that I could be using or obviously the wood so let's just put this idea now this is the one that I was talking about a log a big log that I have cut up um, a long long time ago and I have kept here for a while so I've actually had some orchid in this one but just didn't grow too well I didn't really do it I really didn't do a good job at it but so I'm going to try again so as you can see this lovely huge bark or big log is going to be the home of my new staghorn fern so I've just got to find a spot where when I stand it it shows the beautiful lovely plant so a good size maybe start from here and then somehow maybe add the other little ones there and the other one over here because i could have all the all the um five different plants so one in here one in there one in there and then of course around the other one on the base so let me uh figure it out later and i will show you how i do it Hopefully it looks amazing. So I can't wait. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while. But of course I have been busy. So there's that one there. I do have another log that I could use. Which is right here. See as you can see. So I could have one. Right there where the nails is. I might not take that off because, it, you know, it's part of a, a lovely decoration. I could just do that. So I find, or I could find a, another thing that could, oops, a daisy, I just lost it. Never mind. I'll get that one later. <laughs> so that's um, another thing that I could use. So anyway, let me show you my orchid that I have placed in water and a lit um soak for a while and now I will show you because that's another one that I'm going to do today okay guys here's my orchid it's definitely ready I have soaked the roots for a little while now this is actually taken from outside orchid but it's originally inside so um, I might place this one outside in the sunny section because it loves the sun so this is kind of an outdoor orchid rather than an indoor orchid so i'm not exactly sure what flower it will be because this was given to me so i will have to have a surprise when it does give me some flowers in the future so that's another thing that i'm going to uh, try to tackle today but i'll just show you a few of my plants that i did yesterday that i didn't get to um, a video so just one moment i'll go and show you around 
But before we do that, I just wanted to quickly show you my lovely Picasso lilies giving me a new leaf. Uh, look at that gorgeous leaf. That is doing absolutely fantastic. So that's a new leaf since I bought it a while ago, just after my birthday or before my birthday. So it's about July and it's giving me new leaves. So that means it likes the spot that I actually planted. So this is my other one. This is the half elbow, which is one of the rare ones because Peace Lily, the Picasso usually are mixed around the leaf like this. So like this plant here, see how it's started a green this well it started all white but then it's developing green around but this particular one is a rare one as well because it's half and half see as you can see it's just quite uh, unusual and i also got another new leaves coming i don't know i'm hoping it does have a white one but it's all seemed to be all green but that's okay it might be just like this one here fully green and then of course the next leaf might be a half and half so it might give a green and then a half and half so that's that's my other price um, plants that I love and this one is the yellow variegated lily that was given to me but since then I've actually quite a lot more yellow variegated lilies so I'll just show you that okay so this one is one that I bought in a big chunk and I have separated so I can share with people to um, to also get the money that I've spent as well so um, this has given me new leaves so as you can see and this one is yellow variegated not the white one so this is still a dominoes but of course the yellow see as you can see that's yellow and this particular one I'm going to send this one to my mother in Queensland so she will love this one because she doesn't have it but in the meantime, while I'm acquiring more plants, I'm going to just plant it here just to make sure that it actually keeps alive rather than dead for me. And then this one here, which is not doing so good. That's why I cut up all my manjola pothos. This is, I bought this one. Um, the leaves are not very, very good. So I'm guessing it's lack of sunlight or water at the time when I bought it. So I have just repotted this one last night. As you can see, the leaves are quite damaged. Um, that's why I recut. I chopped up my one, but then this one's for my mom. I'm going to keep it as it is. It's up to her if she wants to um, propagate it. So she could actually propagate this one in, well, let's see. So every nose is one leaf, one let's have a look so she so could do it one two three four times she could cut it four times or maybe five times it just depends it's just the fact that the leaves are not very good you want a new growth so the only way you could have new growth new leaves is to propagate it but i'm going to leave it as it is so let's go and have a look at my other plants that i did yesterday so that's i reserved the two plus i will divide Oh yeah, this is the other one that I did as well. I have put, I've taken some of the babies of my begonia and I have put all my three different, no, four different begonias into one pot. And this is mine to keep. So that's one particular one. And this is another. And this is another one. So there's a lovely big leaf. So I hope it leaves for me. And there's a little one down the bottom. Now I love the begonias plants because of this shimmering, lovely looks of their leaves. Just amazing, so pretty. And they all seem to be different. They all seem to have their own unique characteristic of their actual leaves. So not one that are the same. So I really, really like it. But it does, they do seem to be a little bit... Uh, you know sentimental with water so i hope i'm not going to over water this i have just planted last night so i did drain it with water so hopefully it will be all right so i'll have to give it a, a water again next week so this is the other plan that i'm going to propagate or separate um i'm going to send one to my mom this is called a zanzibar uh jungle warrior which is the burgundy in color See, I do need to clean the leaves a little bit because it's a little bit dusty in the front here. I'll clean the door all the time. 
and I have experimented to propagate my plants this one is the thickest which is not doing too good in here but I do have others so let me just put that aside so I can show you my other uh, experiment or propagation hopefully it will give me roots so it seems to be alive let me just check that one oh it doesn't have any but the roots the stem is still alive and well it's quite strong so it might just give me the roots that I want so of course it's quite early and this is also my propagation so I cut up a few so that as you can see there's a few there the others I take got from other people from other shops so I didn't actually do that but there when I separate them this is a bowl so I would probably be able to plant it separately so I'm going to send my mother one of these long long ones so I'm gonna keep one for myself and a couple of babies so I'm gonna give her the little one or the big one it depends and then one one each so I'm gonna separate them and then obviously I've got the young ones growing on the bottom hopefully they'll give me some roots in time so it's just my little experiment whether I can do the propagation myself and I do have two of them which is great now these plants doesn't come easily I actually had to look at this for ages before I got them and this cost me quite a fair bit but I, I want to start collecting a rare plants rather than collecting so many other plants so I'm going to start selling them which I have had some a few sales just to get some of my money back and to buy the rarer plants rather than just collecting everything so anyway I'll show you the one outside okay so this is my plant outside I have actually had this inside the house but now it's starting to get warm I have decided to plant it or to put it outside and I have repot some of them so now this is my variegated peace lily the dominoes but like I said the yellow not the white one but the yellow so as you can see here I have picked the one that is half half this is actually quite unusual because it's a variegated yellow and it allows to have the half half so it's kind of a freak of nature so it changes its adaptation so it, it changed it becomes much more like the picasso so i am keeping that for myself and so is this one and these little ones here so i've got one two three four five of the variegated that i have planted in this huge planter with a stand so as you can see and I also have two um, plant for the um, the normal pest lily so I did want it to be bushy but I also want to have a little bit more and I wanted to share with other people so I have decided to just plant one 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 bit at a time so so in that way when they do grow it will have plenty of room for them to have young ones and roots so in time this will become very nice and bushy the the pot is quite deep so as you can see that's full of nice soil i mixed it nicely so i would not need to um repot this one for a very very long time so okay that's that's my other one now i also because i bought two a huge plant um, of the variegated peace lily the yellow one I managed to uh, plant some more little ones so I've got one in here two three four variegated and five more on the top so as you can see so I had managed to have ten of my things so at least I can share this one with other people that doesn't have the variegated yellow peace lily so I'm going to start selling them. I don't know exactly what price I'm going to do, but we will see. Um, I won't bother doing it now because I just planted it. I have to see which one is going to live. See, this one's struggling. I oh, know that's part of the paste lily itself. This one in the back is actually my old one. See, it's fully established. It's quite happy. I've had that one for a couple of months. So I'll just show you that one. This one is my new one that I did last night. 
This one is the one that I've had in my bedroom that I have decided to sell or just to keep. See how the leaves are nicely huge and big? This one's actually the dominoes, the white variegated one. So as you can see, it's different to all of them. This is the only one that I've got here for sale, um, which hopefully in time I'll have more of that because I do have two more in in my room that I am going to um, let have some few babies. So uh, that's the only white one I've got. And this, the rest are yellow. So I've managed to have nine. Oh, I have to say nine because I have another little one which I was going to give to a little girl. But the mother didn't turn up and she wanted $50 worth of plant and I wanted to give her a lot because apparently she's you know disabled and I wanted to share my plans with her so I created quite a lot but when I have finished she, the mother didn't respond to me so I'll just show you that one okay guys this is my little planter that I have created for that little girl that I was talking about um, instead of charging you know five dollars per pot I was just gonna give her twenty five fifty dollars twenty five pots which is very cheap um, so I have in here a lovely, my very, very first um, succulent that I have managed to grow from a leaf. So as you can see, this one here, probably seen it in my other upload. I just put, I was going to give her a few other one, which just there and one more there and I wanted to give her a few of other different one but since they haven't respond but someone did told me that there is a scamming happening in Facebook pretending to be um, you know what they say but they not so maybe that's what happened to me but it doesn't matter because I will just resell it and give it to somebody else so as you can see this is my lovely first succulent I do have a few more what I show you later on and oops I keep disturbing this one's not gonna like it come on okay so I have a lovely snow queen pothos I also got the zygo which is the Easter cactus and this one flowers pink I have the golden pothos over here which is a lovely climber and I also have a pepperonia variegated as well as the gold and green pepperonia so i got two types that i was going to give her i also got jade plant that i have that i have cut up from my mother plant i got the um, berry maria syngonium this is one of the rare one this one is purple hearts they're excellent for outdoor they love and they become really deep purple under the sun and i also got another one now this one here i have got the marble pothos here we go and a few more this is a big leaf uh, neon or berry illusion syngonium as you can see there and then there's also a peace lily just the normal one that I wanted to um, give her so I actually give her two little pots and then I was gonna and then I also got the variegated Peace Lily. So yeah, so as you can see, this is definitely more than fifty dollars worth. Um, also, I have a, a succulent called Black Prince that's in this pot, and then another one which is the Beans Pearl um, succulent, which is really really nice. And then I also got this lovely um, Red Tip succulent, and here's another one, and a few more in here. I've got a curly curly one and a lovely Velvet. Um, uh, feature and this one smells really nice I really like this one I also got given this a lovely agave which grow really really big and they're great for outdoors so I've given her a couple of babies um, also a, a pixie syngonium so I've got a couple I've also got the money tree so as you can see an elephant bush and some more of syngoniums and some more of the berry maria so and i was also adding this lovely zanzibar so there's two in there and as well as clipping or 
harvesting my begonia just a little bit of the babies see hopefully they're going to be okay this one's struggling badly but the roots will be fine just the leaf because it's been transplanted now that is what I was going to give her but unfortunately the mother stopped so maybe they are the one that tried to scam me that's their loss because it's okay I will just put this in the market to give away all right so that's my little planter and I'll just show the rest of my plant then in that way um, this is my other plants that I've got in here As you can see that was from my burgundy antorium uh, plants that I have recently so I managed to have five babies one two three four five and this one is the red anthorium so i got one two three four five six seven little plants and i've also got some pink um i've got three little baby ones so let's just put that one together so they stay together so that's my little plants in my veranda so i've got a little bit mad and look at my beautiful climber, lovely marble cothos in one side, which is giving me new leaf right now. So as you can see, this is marble pothos, but on the other side is another pothos, but a different type. So they're called Jessenia, which is half half. Apparently they're rare, which is great because yes, I haven't actually seen this one quite often in the market. So I just happened to to acquire one without knowing that they were rare so i managed to plant it and it did cut a little bit of damage but that's okay um so i got one in here that's a marble pothos that's belong on the other side but the jessenia is half half so you can see it's different to the actual marble pothos which is almost all the leaves with the speckles but the jessenia is half so it's like the half albo, half variegated pothos. So like I said, this is my lovely climber that I created. Now, it's not my best, but it's not bad for a first time try. So, and then this one here on the left is my beautiful philodendron brazil. Now, this lovely plant is giving me new roots and this is how it's supposed to look like. Lovely green outside and lime inside. So this is my new roots since I got it. I actually bought them when all the leaves were super yellow because the lady had it in the sun for too long. Um, the leaves are starting to go green so that will change in time. So that's great news. And so this was like this, but it didn't even have the green in here. So it was quite um, yellow. But look at this, it's changed completely. Now it become half, half. And this is not yellow anymore. It's starting to lime green. And since I got them, this was the new leaf that's given me. Look at that beautiful color. I love it. It's gorgeous plants. Look at that. So this is called the Philodendron Brazil. Now there are four types in this particular type, the philodendron climber of similar shape but different pattern on the leaf and I've got this one. My mother has the other one which she will send me one day, hope soon. So that was one of them. In this little corner I also got a lemon tree that I really need to plant because I've taken it out of the pot and it even giving me new leaves while it's standing here. So do have a lot to do and this one here is my eggplant that I have um, acquired and this was the baby and now it's grown so there and also I have a couple of marble queen posters that I have reserved for a customer and my lovely orchid that I've rescued from the bush but I don't think it like it this time I have to redo that one this one is variegated um, umbrella plant that I have reserved so she should have three of this plant that I've reserved here for that lady okay and here are my other little ones that that little girl could have chosen um, there is a camouflage ivy that I've taken from my uh, planter they have got roots already it's just a little bit um, you know because it's been replanted 
a little bit feeling a bit sad but that will be okay and there's my spider plants lovely spider plants and at the top you will see my beautiful aloe vera it is thriving so nicely on my fish tank there we go okay so this is my other planter that i have propagated from my from my other stuff so there's a bigger lots of spider plants so i've got four plants in there i've also got some more of my zygo which is easter cactus and pink and flower she broke one of the leaf which is not good from moving around okay and then this one is the marble queen pothos and as well as this one here so i've got two but this particular one is not marble queen this is called the pearled and jade so the reason being they look so similar they come from the same family but if you look at here the pearl and jade has three different colors or can be even four so it's got the lime green you got the lighter green and a darker green and as well as um yeah, so it's just a slightly different pattern, but the Snow Queen Pothos has only got two colors, just the white and the green. And the, the white is usually outside the edging of the leaves, so that's the difference. Now, I didn't know this before until I was reading more about the Pothos, the, the type of Pothos. So now I know the difference, but a lot of people on the market will just sell this one both type of plant as a snow queen pothos but that's fine i mean there's no need to be so technical i just know that that was a two different types of pothos even though they're very very similar and this one is snow queen, uh, marble pothos which is the same as jessenia so i've got one here that's half and half but this is this is just a marble pothos this is not the jessenia i actually didn't propagate the other one um i do have a few in here but I think oh, I might have one actually here we go there's one rare one that's the Jessenia one and then of course I've got the rest of marble pothos so you can see and my camouflage ivy I just love the two-tone plants and this one is golden pothos which is other people call it devil's ivy and again this one is another one but this one is just doesn't have much um, doesn't have much color on it they're meant to be a marble pothos but that's staying green and this devil's ivy so there you go this is my little propagated i actually rooted this one on top of my fish tank if you've seen my other uploads that's where it was and now that they roots established i have put them in the pots so the roots will develop more now up the top is my other plants that i have repotted yesterday uh, this are uh, not this one but the others this one is my pexy syngonium here we go and then also my other plants that I have is my peperonia variegated i have one lovely succulent over here and some more of my zygo plant and as well as my lovely berry maria so this is one of the rare plants that actually not easily um, seen and over here on the very top is my my lovely and it's giving me new leaves new leaf my fern my bird nest fern which I had for ages oh such a slow grower and then my other plan is this scandipsis and it's growing beautiful it loves the sunny section it gets the morning sun and then more of my succulent which I need to put some water because some of them are getting very dry so and then this one is my propagated new um, leaves for my succulent and this one is doing absolutely fantastic this two here that's got big growth it needs definitely replanting so that's my lovely plants now I have bought a new plant yesterday which I actually forgot to show you these lovely plants from Bunnings I've been wanting these little plants. It reminds me of home. So I used to see this quite a lot at our house. Um, but now I've got two types, the bigger leaves and the skinny one. And they were only about $10, so that was cheap. But it's such a lovely plant. So I am quite pleased with what I've got. 
so guys this is my little planter outside on the top is some more of my succulent um said or you know the leaves that i'm trying to grow to a new one so here's my bottom section variegated now uh, this one's already sold i've actually got someone coming to pick it up so one's done and then the other one so i've only got one left and i had eight of them so i have one left but i do have one in my room or in the lounge room somewhere and then my daughter's got the other one so we've got two left we're keeping two ourselves so there's that one so there's my plan outside so as you can see that section and that section so there's my plants on this corner i started to put them all out yesterday because they're getting starting to get warm so all right guys this turned out to be a plant tour instead of just a quick upload <laughs> and of course the opposite of that planter is my other plants that i have aside so this is my variegated um, umbrella with the eggplant some orchids pothos some lemon and bits and pieces of the little ones which i will put in the market to uh, share with other people soon and of course as you get in the house into my veranda or my my sunroom this is what i have lovely collection as well and my pink princess which is quite popular so many people i took a picture of my whole plan and say clearing plans everyone wanting to have this but I, it's not for sale this is the only one i got so i'm going to keep it until it grows a little bit longer then i can propagate it so it's got a new leaves new leaves coming through and it looks much more pink so i'm excited i cannot wait and then my beautiful beautiful bunny ear cactus has given me a baby look at that isn't that cute isn't that beautiful i am so proud of you lovely lovely strong healthy baby cactus so that's my other one and of course over in the corner is my lovely other plants and there's my a golden pothos or devil's ivy that's the mother plant that i cut it from the little one so i'm gonna let that one grow bigger and longer and i'll have to build a climber on that one as well and on the very top of my fish tank are my monstera um, i have to actually get this one planted because not planted but maybe organize it a little bit better because this little DIY business is keeps falling out and my water oh I've got one one Picasso that I was trying to save but the roots is coming um, this month's time on Stera has given me lovely leaves sorry guys my big ugly hand is on the way and this one is growing so beautifully as you can see the roots are growing nicely i also got lovely um new leaves that was soaking in there i managed to pull it up so there's lovely growth i might just go down here and you can see better maybe here we go see and this one would be worth about 450 dollars in the market but I'm not going to sell it because this is mine to keep and I'm hoping to um, grow this one to a bigger tree and then in time I can cut them up which I did originally because I bought it the leaves are damaged and this is what I mean there we go so I've got the growth and this one is giving me roots as well so let me show you down the bottom where is it yeah there we go on the top so it's going to live in place with that because I thought it was going to die. And this, I need to just make sure that that's not soaking in water. So I will redo this one later on because it's getting a little bit awkward. Okay, so this is my fighting fish. I'm going to put all my female fish in here, I think. I need to put the male into a bigger fish tank 
So I've got a guppy in here. This mother guppy, she's about, she's already got her old babies. There's one more here. And then I've got some mollies that I've added. So hopefully, and of course some babies. Now, okay, so that's my little plants. And this is another Thai Monstera that I have had for a little while soaking in here. And I'll just pull it out and I'll show you how the root system is developing. There we go. Oops, a daisy. I hope I didn't break that. Okay, so that's lovely. There's two nodes in here. I could cut them in half because there's actually two. So that would be fine. They will live just fine. And I will be sending one to my mother for her to grow her own. So that will be lovely. So guys, thanks for watching and my beautiful plant tour. And uh, keep on watching my other show and you will see a lot more of my uploads. So let's do something else and we'll see will be what my next upload. Either my replanting or repotting or my stagon fern. So keep an eye on my new upload. So I'm quite pleased with this. I will um, in time divide these two so I I will have new roots and uh, new leaves because I don't you know that like I said I bought this one damaged and I want a new one so I might just let this one a little bit older and the roots a little bit bigger before I cut this in half okay guys all right see you on my next upload thanks for watching give me a thumbs up and subscribe please subscribe to my channel it will help me reach my goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of well i wanted to have it by the end of august but it's not going to happen that's okay i am almost there and hopefully i'll have more goals after i reach my 1000 subscribers so thank you guys for your help i really appreciate it so see you next time